This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, May 22nd. I'm James Spann. Still the chance of a lingering shower for East Alabama today. After that, we'll be dry for a while. We'll check the Skycam shots around the network at the insane hour of 5 a.m. Look at that little daylight showing up from the Gadsden Skycam. That's a sign the summer solstice is getting closer. We're a month away from that. That's our longest day of the year in terms of the number of daylight. There's the Fayette Sky Cam, and again, you can see evidence of a little daylight there. And down in Montevallo, that's our Sky Cam on the campus of the University of Montevallo. Had some big pre-dawn storms, but things have calmed down now. Upper trough moving through here. That kicked off those uh, late night, early morning storms, producing some hail and gusty winds. Heavy rain during the middle of the night. Here's the radar at 501. Still some light rain falling over East Alabama's uh, Calhoun, Etowah, St. Clair counties. The bigger storms are way down to the southeast. Uh, Pike County near Troy, down toward Ozark and Dale County, moving away from us. And we might see a few storms redeveloping later today, but if they do, they should be over far east Alabama. Most of the state will be dry this afternoon. Now, where the storms do redevelop, they could pack a punch. The guys at SPC have the standard slight risk up for extreme east Alabama today. And then much of Georgia and South Carolina. Tomorrow, slight risk for the breadbasket, parts of Nebraska, Iowa, South Dakota, Minnesota. And on day three, a slight risk way up north. That's uh, Thursday. Rain for the next five days. This started last night at 7, goes all the way through Saturday evening at 7. And that counts the rain we had last night. And really, after today, just nothing for a while. So hopefully you got some rain last night. We'll check the modeling. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock today. There's the troughing over the deep south. That will be replaced, by the way, with a ridge later this week. And down below that, again, uh, we could see additional storms kicking off again today to the east near the Georgia border. Highs today pretty comfortable with uh, low 80s. The GFS is showing 82. That's actually a smidgen below average for this time of the year. Tomorrow, mid-80s likely sunny sky. Thursday will be close to 90. And Friday, how about low 90s, around 92. Bright, sunny weather. And as we kick off the weekend, oh yeah, big old 588 heat bubble right on top of us. With a cold trough in the west, it'll be a sunny day and a hot day with low to mid 90s. Anywhere from 90 to 94, the GFS is printing 91. Same thing on Sunday. And if you're headed to the beach, weather, weather down there looks fine. It's a Memorial Day weekend. There might be a shower somewhere, but probably not much rain at all. Lots of sun. And Monday, Memorial Day. Moisture tries to return a little west of here, but we think the day will stay dry with low to mid-90s, just, just like summertime. Right on cue. A week from today, the heights are coming down. As the upper ridge is suppressed to the south and west, down below that moisture increases, and that's where we could begin to see a few scattered afternoon showers. But again, overall, things just dry for the latter half of this week and the weekend, which is perfect, by the way, for the SEC baseball tournament that's uh, here in the Birmingham area. I'm sure our friends at the SEC will love to hear the news. We'll check the end of the forecast June 6th. Got a... Uh, Fairly fresh flow for that time of the year. A little cold front to the north. That suggests maybe a few scattered showers and storms around. But again, nothing uh, too serious there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, or even if you don't, we invite you to watch us on ABC 3340 at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the TV side or anywhere on the live stream. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.